Hey, it's Mike. Uh, gonna introduce you to the rear end today on the Rambler. Uh, what we're doing is we're gonna take it out, get it cleaned up, gonna get some painting done on it. We got to get some, uh, some new spring plates uh, fabricated and uh, then we'll get it back in the car. So here we go. Uh, it's a pretty tricky one-man operation, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get uh, the body on some jack stands, take the uh, wheels off with the jack underneath the rear end, unbolt the springs from the body, and just whoop, out she ought to come. Uh, gotta take the wheels off because if not, the body has to come up so high to clear everything in the middle of the car that uh, it becomes really, really difficult. sketchy sketch Okay, we're out of the car finally. That was uh, interesting. It's always interesting every time I do it. So we'll get the springs off, start getting it cleaned up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I spent a little bit of time, scraped and scrubbed a little bit, and uh, got the heavy grease off. And a long time ago, I had really sprayed these bare metal pieces down with uh with fluid film like super heavy so i got it pretty well cleaned up this is a ford 8.8 .8 inch rear end out of a early 90s explorer it worked pretty pretty well i think i had uh three inches taken out of the uh Mm, would have been the left side because these are the, you can tell these are the uh, new welds there where they welded the tubes back in so I took three inches out of the uh, driver's side and then I used two of the uh, right side axles so the axles are the same length now and it, it fits in there pretty good. It doesn't, uh, 
It's not exact to the original rear end, but it is very close. Uh, just gonna finish up here, get it shot with a coat of paint. We'll be using that VHT uh, epoxy chassis paint like I've done on other things. And then we'll get it thrown back in the car after I get the, the new uh, spring plates made up. But yeah, the purpose here is not to, not really for aesthetics, uh, as much as it is just to protect it, get the bare metal coated and give it at least a fighting chance there. You know, it'll still look good. Um, all one color. All right, I did a little bit more cleaning up. Um, gonna get this uh, rear cover off, get some masking around that. Don't want to paint that all up, but uh, just gonna give it a quick scuff with some 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, start getting it painted. We're not gonna get too fussy about it. Uh, just a real quick one, I think, hopefully. Don't quote me on that. Um, since we've upgraded to a much larger rear end, uh, Ford 8.8 .8 out of a Explorer, the axle tube is three and a quarter inches in diameter, where the uh, old AMC rear end was uh, two something to and change. Uh, now, some guys will use the same, will reuse the existing spring plates and just stretch them. Um, one of the things that's a little weak about the existing plate is, right, as I was saying, one of the, the weaknesses of these uh, factory spring plates is that they're flat. So I don't know if you can see what happens is the, uh, the plate has a tendency to bend. Okay, that's why I'm not uh, particularly keen about uh, using these existing plates. So I'm gonna do my own. Uh, these templates, uh, I just did up in Fusion 360. Uh, easy peasy. Maybe we'll do a 
a little tutorial maybe on the, on that one day. Um, I just printed them out and so that I've got my full size template. Um, really uh, the, the critical measurements here are the whole spacing, this whole pattern, this uh, shape, not so much uh, because we're just gonna, uh, it's pretty much secondary. The whole pattern has to be correct. Otherwise the U-bolts won't line up and the uh, spring won't sit right. So that's a pretty big deal. Um, I'll make some magnets and tack these down on the steel and then I will mark all of the holes and then once we get that done we'll, we'll get to the drill press. I'm just lining up the edges of the, the template with the straight edges of the steel. It'll help limit some of the cutting that I have to do. Just want to make sure it's nice and flat. Yeah. This one will be sufficient. Okay. We'll center punch all the holes and then uh, trace around with the marker to get our outline. Okay. Got our holes marked out. And all I'm going to do is uh, just mark around the paper, kind of half on, half off. That way the uh, marker will leave a nice crisp crisp line for me to hit. These Americans are a little bit oddball since they use a two inch wide leaf spring. Very hard to find pre-made spring plates for these. Most of the applications that call for a three and a quarter inch axle tube are trucks. And they uh, would of course have a thicker thicker leaf spring. So uh, most of the universals you'll find are for a two and a half inch spring. It's a, uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to find something like this. So it's just as easy for, you know, $25 in steel to uh, make our own. All right, let's get set up on the drill press. All right, here we are. First thing this, uh, we're gonna set up to do some pilot holes. The, most of your bigger bits are going to have a chisel tip. That doesn't cut metal, it pushes it. So the reason for the pilot is so that that tip doesn't have to push metal. So you want to make sure you're uh, making a big enough pilot. That's uh, going to be bigger than that chisel tip. This just happens to be a 530 seconds. Okay, all the pilots are drilled. I'm gonna switch over to uh, a bigger bit. Now I'm using a 9/16 U-bolt, which is quite overkill, but it's uh, what I'm going to use because that's, that's what I want to use. Um, I'm not going to be drilling a 9/16 hole because it's uh, I want to give us a, a whiff. Of clearance so this is a 1930 seconds bit which is slightly larger and should offer us a little bit of wiggle room
our nine sixteenths holes drilled out and the rest of these are gonna be a half inch. The uh, center locator for the uh, leaf spring, center bolt is half inch and the uh, No, nope, that's it. And then the uh, shock mount bolt, which I've got one sitting around here, uses a half inch, I think. Maybe not. This is the uh, pretty generic universal uh, shock mount. This stud goes through the plate, bolts on. So. Now it's half, half inch. If not, I'll drill it out. All right, we've got our plates cleaned up and we're ready to get some beds in these things. Did a little bit of layout <clears throat> off camera. Uh, got some scribe lines where we're gonna do our bends. Now these are mirrors of each other. So the tabs will, will have all our bends going the same, same direction, but on opposite, uh, opposite sides. So I got scribes where our bends are gonna be. Here and here, I'm gonna take a hacksaw and just put a little nip right in the uh, edge there. That way it's a little bit easier to see. That's a 5 16 plate. So I'm not sure how well it's going to, going to bend, but we're gonna give it a shot with what we have. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't work when your hacksaw blade doesn't have no teeth. Got uh, got the big whacker. Got the doyle. Got some plate. I don't know if uh, map is going to be hot enough to get this job done, but we'll find out. Well, you'll notice that I didn't try very hard. And uh, if you're wondering whether or not I think MapGas has the ass to uh, 
do the job? I'd say no. So instead of risking warping the plate all together, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip cut my score marks down about halfway through, reduce that thickness, give it another chance at the bend, and then we'll, we'll weld it up. Alright, just about ready to get this rear end put back in the car. We've got quite a bit of work done here. You see i got the backing plates on. Um, of course, to do that, you got to take the axles out and a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, just pretty standard. Oops. Um, pretty standard stuff. Also, got some paint in the uh, spring pockets there. And also... Got some new bushings there for our uh, spring shackles on both sides there. Um, when you're doing new new bushings, especially uh, with this kit that I got, like a pro prothane urethane uh, bushing kit for this car, uh, be careful uh, when you're putting those bushings in because they are too big and you need to cut them down. So measure your bushings and then uh, modify the, the new urethane bushings accordingly. They're made for a, uh, a two and a half inch spring, right? So uh, they need a, a little bit of modification to get fully seated against the frame rail. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this uh, put back on our, on our dollies get underneath the car and uh, get the springs put back in and uh, get her all bolted up.
All right, I got a little ahead of myself. Didn't realize the camera wasn't rolling, but uh, we got the got the rear end in. Got the matching wheels here. Look like they're gonna fit okay. We'll see what happens when the springs settle. Um, and if we need to relieve the lip, we will, but let's take a little, little trip underneath the car and see just how this rear end turned out. It's always kind of a pain in the butt getting it in and out. Um, still need to do a little bit of torque in here on the front eye bolts. And now that the car is sitting at ride height on its own wheels, we'll uh, go ahead and torque our new spring plates down, uh, or U-bolts. They're probably do, uh, these are 9 16 bolts, and it'll probably end up doing about, eh, about 90 foot pounds. And I got them lubed up with uh, anti-seize. So it fits in here pretty snug, pretty good. I like it. Springs went on okay. Custom spring plates are looking pretty awesome, if you ask me. Let's get some light here. Okay, so they got, you know, same configuration as factory. Uh, shocks in front on this one. So it looks pretty good. So we got quite a bit of work done. Uh, Ran is out, painted. If it needs some touch up later on, we know where to get the paint. Uh, been working on a uh, exhaust hanger bracket in between all this so next thing i'm gonna do is start getting the exhaust mocked up and it's gonna be a three inch exhaust probably a little too big but that's the way she goes and i'm gonna be moving right right into uh getting prepped on the bottom for paint and get our tunnel finished up where we made our hole for our shifter things are coming along we're moving fast now but leave this one here.